Hello friends, welcome to Expert Guidance. Today in this video, we'll be covering the topic D reactivity series of section 2 inorganic chemistry of Edexcel IGCSE chemistry. In this video, we'll be looking over how the metals are arranged in the reactivity series based on their reaction with water and dilute hydrochloric and sulfuric acid. How we can arrange the metals and the order of the reactivity series by the displacement reaction and then we will see how the different metals are placed in the reactivity series in this unit we'll also discuss the rusting of iron and what are the various ways in which we can prevent the rusting of iron and how we can define oxidation and reduction in terms of gain and loss of oxygen or gain and loss of electrons now i would recommend you to watch this video till the end because in the end we'll be looking over some conceptual questions and important key terms of this topic so let's begin now if you remember from the topic when we were doing metals we discussed about the reactivity series so reactivity series is a series where we have the most reactive element at the top and less reactive at the bottom now although there are just metals here we have two non-metals you can see we have hydrogen we have carbon. Now, whenever we react metal with dilute acids, the metal is actually displacing the hydrogen. So all the metals which are above the reactivity series, then the hydrogen will react with dilute acids and they form salt and hydrogen. Similarly with water, all the metals which are above hydrogen will react to form metal hydroxides and hydrogen. And we will see the elements at the stop will show the voilant reaction. The elements in the middle will show slow and the very slow reactions and the ones at the bottom will not react with acids or water so depending on the observation we see with the acids or water we can place the elements on the basis of their reactivity and we'll get a series like this now there are a lot of mnemonics which are there you can use to remember the reactivity series but most of the time they give you the reactivity series in the exam now, what is a displacement reaction? So we can use these reactivity series to do a displacement reaction. Now, displacement reactant is that the most reactive metal will displace the less reactive metal from its salt solution. So most reactive metals are generally found at the top and the less reactive at the bottom. So the metal at the top will be displacing the metal at the bottom from its salt solution. For example, magnesium and zinc sulfate. So magnesium is here and zinc is here so magnesium being more reactive will displace or take the position of zinc in its compound and will form magnesium sulfate and displace the zinc on the other hand if we take the reaction of lead with magnesium sulfate lead being at the bottom cannot displace the metal at the top so no reaction takes place so you can use the reactivity series first to predict the product of displacement and second whether the metal will react with hydrogen and carbon because hydrogen and carbon are used as a reducing agent so we can use reduce the metal oxides which are lower than hydrogen for the extraction of those metals from their oxide and the metals which are lower than carbon for those metals we can use carbon as a reducing agent and the metal above will be extracted by electrolysis as carbon and hydrogen cannot displace them so as for my always advice what's the next step check this specification make sure everything is there which is there in your specification for c5 is crystal clear to you and then do exam question on this topic they can all be found on my website the link is mentioned on the description box below all these answers of these key terms are also mentioned on my website along with the notes the link is mentioned in the description box below if you still have any doubts in this topic, please feel free to ask me. I have a 24-7 chat support on my website till your exam where you can come and ask any queries and get instant reply. Or you can leave a comment below. We'll reply you as soon as possible. If there's any specific video on any topic of your choice you want me to put a video on, then also leave a comment below. I'll make sure I have that up before your exam. Okay, so if you like this video, then do like, comment and share this video. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do click the the bell icon so that you get notified with all the upcoming videos because i'll be uploading loads of videos before your exam okay so i'll see you next in my next video till then 
Happy revising!